Ukraine has received at least some of the 90 striker armored personnel carriers and 37 Cougar mine resistant ambush protected MRAP vehicles promised by the US, as well as at least some of the 14 Challenger 2 tanks promised by the UK, and the 40 Marder infantry fighting vehicles promised by Germany, which has also sent Ukraine 18 Leopard 2 tanks. The striker is a family of eight wheeled armored fighting vehicles derived from the Canadian LAV 3. Striker vehicles are produced by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada, GDLSC, for the United States Army in a plant in London, Ontario. It has four-wheel drive, 8x4, and can be switched to all-wheel drive, 8x8. The Striker was conceived as a family of vehicles forming the backbone of a new medium-weight brigade combat team, BCT, that was to strike a balance between heavy armor and infantry. The service launched the Interim Armored Vehicle Competition, and in 2000, the service selected the LAV-3 proposed by GDLS and General Motors Defense. The service named this family of vehicles the Striker. Ten variants of the Striker were initially conceived, some of which have been upgraded with V-hulls. The Cougar is a mine-resistant ambush-protected and infantry mobility vehicle structured to be resistant to landmines and improvised munitions. It is a family of armored vehicles produced by Force Protection Inc., which manufactures ballistic and mine-protected vehicles. The vehicles are integrated by Spartan Motors. These vehicles are protected against small arms, land mines, and improvised explosive devices using a combination of design features and materials to protect both the crew and engine compartment against a wide range of attacks. A monocoque type, V-shaped hull extends to the engine bay and serves to direct the blast away from under the vehicle. The dual air conditioners help keep heavily dressed troops from overheating in temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius in Iraq. The FV-4034 Challenger II is a third-generation British main battle tank in service with the armies of the United Kingdom and Oman. It was designed by Vickers Defence Systems, now BAE Systems Land and Armaments, as a private venture in 1986, and was an extensive redesign of the company's earlier Challenger 1 tank, 9. The Ministry of Defence ordered a prototype in December 1988. Despite outward similarities to the Challenger 1, design and technological developments mean that only about 3% of components are interchangeable with the earlier vehicle. The Challenger 2 has a crew of four. The main armament is AL-30A1 120mm, 4.7-in, rifled tank gun, an improved derivative of the L-11 gun used on the Chieftain and Challenger 1. 50 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main armament, alongside 4,200 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition for the tank's secondary weapons, AL-94A1EX, 34-chain gun mounted coaxially, and AL-37A2 machine gun. The turret and hull are protected with second-generation Chobham armor, also known as Dorchester. Powered by a Perkins CV-12-6AV-12 diesel engine, the tank has a range of 550 km, 340 miles, and maximum road speed of 59 km per hour, 37 miles per hour. The Challenger 2 eventually completely replaced the Challenger 1 in British service. In June 1991, the UK ordered 140 vehicles, followed by a further 268 in 1994. These were delivered between 1994 and 2002. The tank entered operational service with the British Army in 1998 and has since been used in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Iraq. To date, the only time a tank has been destroyed during operations was by accidental friendly fire from another Challenger 2 in Basra, in 2003. Challenger 2 tanks were also ordered by Oman in the 1990s with delivery of 38 vehicles being completed in 2001. A number of British Challenger 2 tanks were delivered to Ukraine in 2023. Since the Challenger 2 entered service in 1998, various upgrades have sought to improve its protection, mobility and lethality. This has culminated in a highly upgraded design, known as Challenger 3, which is set to gradually replace Challenger 2 from 2027. The Schutzenpanzer Marder 1 is a tracked German infantry fighting vehicle designed for use with the West German Panzergrenadier units, mechanized infantry specialized for IFV combat. It has been operated by the German Army as the main Panzergrenadier IFV from 1970s through to the present day. Developed as part of the rebuilding of West Germany's armored fighting vehicle industry, the Marder has proven to be a successful and solid infantry fighting vehicle design. While it used to include a few unique features, 
such as a fully remote machine gun on the rear deck and gun ports on the sides for infantry to fire through. These features have been deleted or streamlined in later upgrade packages to bring it more in line with modern IFV design. The milligram has been moved to be a coaxial, the gun ports entirely welded shut and uparmored. It is overall a simple and conventional machine with one large rear exit hatch and three top hatches for mounted infantry to fire from. Around 2,100 were taken into service by the West German Army in the early 1970s, but the vehicle in its German variant was not sold to any foreign militaries. As the West German Army began to retire older vehicles, the Chilean government agreed to acquire 200 Marders. The government of Greece has considered the purchase of 450 retired vehicles in the past. Argentina uses a simplified and locally produced variant, the VCTP and has a number of vehicles based on that platform constructed by Henschel and built by TAMS. The intended successor to the Marder 1 was initially the Marder 2 project in the 1990s, but after its cancellation the successor became the Puma in the 2010s. The Marder is currently being replaced by the Puma. The Leopard 2 is a third-generation German main battle tank. Developed by Krauss Maffe in the 1970s, the tank entered service in 1979 and replaced the earlier Leopard 1 as the main battle tank of the West German Army. Various iterations of the Leopard 2 continue to be operated by the armed forces of Germany, as well as 13 other European countries and several non-European states around the world, including Canada, Chile, Indonesia, and Singapore. Some operating states have licensed the Leopard 2 design for local production and domestic development. There are two main development tranches of the Leopard 2. The first encompasses tanks produced up to the Leopard 2A4 standard and are characterized by their vertically faced turret armor. The second tranche, from Leopard 2A5 onwards, has an angled, arrow-shaped, turret applique armor, together with other improvements. The main armament of all Leopard 2 tanks is a smoothbore 120mm cannon made by Rinmetal. This is operated with a digital fire control system, laser rangefinder, and advanced night vision and sighting equipment. The tank is powered by a V12 twin-turbo diesel engine made by MTU Friedrichshen. In the 1990s, the Leopard 2 was used by the German Army on peacekeeping operations in Kosovo. In the 2000s, Dutch, Danish, and Canadian forces deployed their Leopard 2 tanks in the Afghanistan war as part of their contribution to the International Security Assistance Force. In the 2010s, Turkish Leopard 2 tanks saw action in Syria. In the 2020s, Leopard 2 tanks donated by Canada and European countries will see action in the Russian-Ukrainian war. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up, comment and of course subscribe to our channel and enable notifications not to miss new interesting videos so more people can see it and enjoy it too. Thanks.